Hello and welcome to another installation of Motivating Moments. I'm your motivator for the week. I am Pastor Gary Bush. Thank you for tuning in. Certainly hope that your Memorial Day was a great day as we remember those fallen soldiers and we should remember those soldiers in the army of the Lord who gave their lives for the faith. Here to finish the month of May, we've been speaking from this theme, dead faith. Actually, how not to have dead faith. And we found that theme in the book of James, chapter number two, verse seven and eight. I'm sorry, 17 and 18. And it says, even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. And we're talking about not having dead faith. Dead faith is described as faith that doesn't produce works. And so if we're going to have a faith that's alive and that's vibrant, it has to produce some works. First of all, faith comes by hearing. You gotta have faith. That comes from the Word of God. After hearing the Word of God, you have to have a faith that does something. There has to be works. Uh, let your light shine that your works, your good works, may glorify your Father in heaven. So it has to be visible to people that don't have faith. And then lastly, those works that you have will serve as a witness and a testimony for you. And so I want to take this time just to mention a few things that you can do that other people can look at and know that you're a believer in God. And so one of the things you can do, you can pray. Uh, don't be ashamed to pray. Pray and open. Pray when it's required. And people can see that and observe that you have faith. You can worship. You can go to the house of the Lord. And that lets people know that you have uh, a reverence for God on holy days and on Sunday. While at church, you can participate. You can sing in praise service. Uh, you can give in the offering. If they have testimonies, uh, you can give a testimony of what the great things the Lord has done for you. And so uh, there are many things that we can do that people can visibly see, not just in the church, not just at home, in the workplace. You can stand up for what's right. You can take a righteous stand uh, when things are not quite on the up and up. Let me hear you say, that ain't right. That ain't right. Uh, don't take the paper clips, don't take the pencils, don't take the sticky pads home with you. You want to stand up for righteousness. And so I want to encourage you this week, let's do those work, those good works, those things that will glorify God and progress the kingdom of God. As always, I am Pastor Gary Bush. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week.